Ah, it's George. Hello? Hey, up, buddy. How's it going? Where, where the buddy hell are you? I'm just on my way down now. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Hey, what's, what's wrong with your voice? Nothing. I just got a bit of a cold, that's all. Oh, hey, up. Bloody hell, fire. I don't know where this is leading. Mm, George, I feel well. I'm staying home. No, no, none of that. It's just just a cold, mate. Don't worry. Right, well, buddy, I'll hurry up, because I tell you what, we've got lots going on today, and you should be here already. Yeah, I'm on my way now. I'm on my way. Right, well, don't forget to bring that bloody digger. I know. I'm coming in it now. I'm literally just open the gate. I'm on my way. All right, and see you in a bit. Oh, you've, is everything sorted, then? Ah, oh, everything's here. And I've got something else to tell you. Oh, I've been a bit impulsive, Scroft. I don't know if I've done the right thing, but... Well, it's going to be your problem, not mine. <laughs> what? What's he on about? Oh, God. Jesus. Now, let's just start this up. Warm it up before we head off. Got some soil delivered. Just some topsoil, really. Because, obviously, with me digging up this house that was there, knocking it down, it's kind of left a bit of a, an indent. And, uh, yeah, the ground was damaged. It wasn't really the best ground to start ploughing, you know, and turn it into a field. And I do want to kind of expand this out of over on here. We, we, we need to maximise, we really do, on this the, our field. So that's what I'm going to try and do. So I thought, get some topsoil, you know, we'll fill it in, level it out, and uh, it'll be a better, you know, soil uh, bed for uh, any crop that we eventually put in. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is really good, really good. And I've taken some samples and sent them off, so hopefully they'll come back and tell me it's all right. But might need to do a little bit lime and all that stuff but I'm hoping with the deal that I broke with George you know, that shouldn't be an issue because he'll be doing the same and we can borrow what we need right let's head down to him anyway I knew he'd moan at me I didn't want to tell him I had a cold because I thought if I tell him I've got a cold that's it I'm just gonna get grief like baking out and faffing even more than he already thinks I do but yeah cold it is so apologies Right. Nice JCB this is, and it's coming handy, I'm telling you that now. Definitely helped me out with the job I needed to do, so why not use it for what George wants to do? Only got it for a few more days, and I don't want to have it any any longer than that, because it's going to cost me. Is that bloody Tim again? I'm starting to think he lives there. He can't do. I wonder if he just left it there, and was it running? That guy, I think George is spot on about that guy. He's not right in the head. He really isn't. Right, so he says he's got something going on. I don't know what it is, but... I'm sure we'll find out. I <laughs> just... It's probably going to be something mental. I don't know. Right, that's definitely where we want to be. So we'll just park this up here before we go out over to him. Ah, Beanie's here. Hiya, Beanie, you okay? Hi, I'm good, thanks. Are you? Uh, not too bad. Picked up a bit of a cold, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, I hope you're not feeling too rough and George isn't giving you too much grief either. <laughs> well, you know what George is like. He's already given me grief on the phone. Sounds like George. What are you doing with the digger? Nothing major, really. Just where the mud's collecting on some of the gates. We're going to try and dig that mud out and just put a bit of hard stand in. Yeah, fair play. Also, thanks for putting the straw down in the stables. Really appreciate that. Oh, it's not a problem, Beanie, honestly. I was bedding up anyway around the farm, so I thought I'd put some in there. Well, thanks again anyway. No problem. Anyway, see you later. See ya. Right, so... Let's go speak to the main man himself. See what he's got going on today. I really don't know what he's got up. Hey, oh, no. What the bloody hell is that thing? It's massive. What kind of bucket's that? I don't even think I've seen one of them before. I honestly don't know what that is. It's definitely a bucket. What it does, I don't know. I'm sure he'll tell me in a sec. 
George, I'm here. Bloody bout, bloody time. Where the bloody hell have you been? Chill out. I'm here now. Where are you? Kitchen. Right. Oh, you're in here. Ah, oh, come on, grab a seat. Yeah, all right then. Chill out. Right. What is it you got to tell me? Where do I bloody start, lad? Where do I bloody start? Right, well, basically, got a new bucket outside, got some pigs coming, got two types of feeds coming, and, and I've spoke to Brexy and there's three tractors we need to go look at. And also, Beanie's outside. Where, where, man? Slow down and go back again, right? All I heard then was just so much. I, I mean, what? How am I supposed to compute that? What are you on about? Compute what? I've told you. You wanted to know, buddy told you. Jesus Christ, George, have you been on the coffee this morning instead of the tea? No, not drinking that tastes like soil. <laughs> right, right, let's just go back to the first one. We've got a bucket outside. Right, I've seen that. What's that for, then? We've already got a bucket. Ah, oh, but it's a good one, this is. Right. I decided, because of that bloody Tim guy, I decided I'm going to get some pinks. I thought, I don't want to give a what Tim thinks. I'm going to buy some pigs. So I did it. I bloody bought some pigs crafting the coming today with feed for them. They don't have feed like cows. I've learned bloody loads I have and I don't even know what we do with it. But it's coming and I'm hoping you can figure it out. Are you kidding me? Figure it out? I haven't got a clue. I've never had a pig before in my life. What are we supposed to do? Well, we got some CCM coming. CCM? What's that? Corn cob mix. It's basically a bale scroft, right? It's just a bale. Keep it bloody simple. All right, then. We've got some bales of that. Ah, right, and then we've got loads of sugar beets coming. That bucket, what it does is it slices it up. And you can have it like that. So basically what you do is you put a bit of that in, put a bit of the CCM in, put it in our mixer, jobs are good. And that'll sort them out. All right, then. I can do that, I can do that. And that's that's the way we're feeding them. Ah, it's, I, I was told it's the best way. You don't want to go too crazy. From what I understand, pigs bloody eat anything, so I think they'll be happy with that. All right, then. What are you? What? What's the point in these pigs? Is it just to annoy Tim? Well, originally, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I did it just out of an impulsive decision to annoy him, because he said about regulations and all this stuff, and I thought I can have pigs on my farm. It's my bloody farm, and if I want pigs, I'm getting bloody pigs. So I got pigs. But then I realised actually, I thought, can you imagine if we sell sausages, like bloody sausages to local butcher? George's sausages. <laughs> George, there won't be any left. You'll be eating them all. You cheeky bugger. I want to eat them all. Don't get me wrong. I'll have a few, and I might even buy a bigger freezer and store some in, but that's a whole new ball game. We've got to first get these bloody pigs and get them bloody breeding. Then, slaughterhouse, sausages, bacon, pork chops. Whoa, God, can you imagine it, Scroff? Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does sound good, actually. Are you going to give me a discount? Ah, I'll do that for you. If you bloody raise them, and you get it to the point we can make sausages, and have some pork chops, ah, you can have a discount. <laughs> well, thank you for that, George. Thanks. See? I'm fair. I'm fair. I'll give you a pay rise and pork chops. What more do you want? <laughs> yeah, exactly, George. Yeah, pay rise and pork chops. What more can I ask for? Bloody hell, fire. Are you sure you haven't been on that coffee? Told you, I don't drink that, it tastes like soil. Do I want that? I'm a tea man. Keep it simple. All right then. Right, so you've told me about that. What so you got all that stuff coming today? Am I expecting what am I expecting there? How many deliveries? There'll be three. I think first one we get to the sugar beets, that needs putting away. Just find a spot for it. We've got quite a bit. I'm telling you that now. Then there'll be some bales coming, they need to be putting away. Then the pigs will be coming in and I need help you guide me in. But that'll be later on in the afternoon from what I'm saying because I want to feed come first. So there's three of them there for you. And then there's obviously the job we've already planned out, which is filling them holes in and making sure we've got none of them uh, patches by, by our gates. There you go. Well, I best start with that then, aren't I? Uh, maybe, but I'd, I'd start by mucking out because them cows, I'm telling you now, since we come here, all they've done is... <laughs> <laughs> What do you expect them to, George? Well, I'm telling you, go muck them out. There's loads of it in there. Muck them out. If they need, maybe, maybe give them a silage bale. I've checked the feed. It's not too bad, but maybe give them a bale of silage. All right, and I'll feed the cows, muck them out. I'll start on the holes. Then I'll do the feed deliveries. 
Bloody hell, George, there's loads. Ah, hey. I tell you what, though, I am surprised out of all the things I told you. You didn't ask me about Brixie. Well, bloody hell, yeah, you told me. See, I just t- I told you you'd miss something. Brixie. Right, well, what's the plan with him? Well, I spoke to him, told him what I'm after, told him I want a good price, you know. I know it's going to be a bit more expensive than what I've spent before, but I still want a decent second and reliable tractor with a bit more juice under it. And he's told me he's got three in. One's just come in, literally just, and it's a Ford. So, I mean, you know what I'm like with Fords. I'm a bit of a sucker for Fords. I told him I'd think about it, because, you know, don't want that too keen. Might not be able to get himself a deal. Uh, but I'm thinking we might go down and have a, pop and have a look, because I don't want to miss out on chance of getting him. And I know I said I was going to get it after the harvest, but if it's there and I miss it, well, I'll be a fool, won't I? We may as well have a look. All right, then. You just let me know what the plan is with that when we're heading down and we'll sort out, yeah? Well, all right, then, bud. I'll let you crack on because you've obviously got a busy day. All right, then. See you in a bit, mate. See you in a bit. Oh, bloody hell, fire. What is he going on? Um, he's t- when he told me that, I was like, am I supposed to remember that stuff? How am I supposed to bloody remember that stuff? Pigs. Bloody pigs on the farm. I'm happy, don't get me wrong. It'd be nice to see a few pigs on the farm, but... Uh, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be all down to me. And that sounds interesting. And what, he, what he said is he's going to cut the sugar beets. He's going to cut them and slice them. So that'll be easier, putting them in the feed mixer. In fact, I'm sure we can put some sugar beets in with... with RTMR mixes for the cows. It'll do them good. Anyway, let's go sort the cows out. Let's go muck them out. And then, uh, and then we'll give them a silage bale, I think. Should be good enough. All right, girl. Hey, oh. hey up, George, you're eight. Yeah, I'm alright. I've just fed the cows, just finished, and uh, they mucked out. Alright then, good on you. George, you do know that one of these calves is uh, is a male. Is it? Yeah, we got one of them as a male. Well, more, all I'm saying is, when we get... The reason I tell you is because if we get a bull, we probably want to take that calf out, mate. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I'll we'll figure it out then. We don't really want... Uh, unfortunately, we don't really want... You know, male cars, who you want milkers? Might have to sell it, Scroft. Um, well, you know what normally happens, George? I know that, I am bloody doing that. Well, why don't we rear it up? You know, sell it. Sell it for meat. Well, we might have to do that. Right, well, I'm just going to crack on now with the the next job you've given me. Obviously, the big one, I need to sort these two gates out. I rang you to tell you, the Massey. Oh, ah, the Massey? Two things. Right, the part. Yeah, the part. Right, so, crankshaft kit. That's what you asked for, isn't it? A crankshaft kit. Yeah, that's the thing. That's definitely what I need. Right, well, I found it, and I bought it. £229. It'll be here tomorrow. Bloody hell. Well done, George. Well done. I tell you what, finding a 390T Massey Ferguson box is much easier, isn't it? It is with them bloody fine in the Leyland. Ah, well, I might be able to help you out with that soon. Don't attempt me with that kind of stuff, George. I don't know, I'm being serious. I think, I think, I'm not done to promise me, I'm done to hold me to this, but I think I might have found something. Here I am. Well, we'll wait and see on that one. I can't find anything. Well, just leave it with me. Leave it with me. All right, and you got me hopeful now. What was the other thing you wanted to tell me about? Oh, it's still about the Massey. Obviously, when I rang them up and asked them about, you know, the Massey, they basically said that they'd get back to me. They told me what the problem was, and they'd get back to me. They finally got back to me, and they said, we can have it. They literally said, they don't want it, they aren't farming anymore, and it's ours. If we fix it, it's ours. Job done. Bloody hell, George, that's good news. I know. I couldn't believe it, mate. Just think, Jesus. Free tractor, like that. So, you've... so it's on you now, get that fixed. Good on you, Scroft. To tell you that we'll have a, we'll have a, an arse track drum farm, and best thing about it, I'll have a front loader. Yeah, that's true. 
Anyway, George, I'm going to crack on. Distracting me. Got lots to do. Fire and bloody hell, fire for your lot, news. I do, but, you know, bloody busy. Right, and grumpy pants. <laughs> right, and see you in a bit. Right. So, we've got some hard standing here. We're just going to take it down. And then when this digger, we're going to try and just lift up some of the mud. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I think that's the best thing. It's, uh, it's going to be difficult, really, to do this. I don't think George actually realises the job this is, but we're going to give it our best go. Come on. Right, I think that should be enough. So, let's get on this thing. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what this is, I'll be honest. But, should work. Should do the job, shouldn't it? We've just got to take it down there. Just drop it off. and uh, Yeah, we'll probably dump it somewhere, because we're going to need to... We'll do this this gate here first, and just see, see what it looks like. Let's try and get the mud up. I don't care where we stick the mud, as long as it's out of the way. And then, you know... I mean, you can see it here, it's just everywhere. We're not going to do that track because yeah, it'll just be too much. We'll just focus on this first. Alright, let's see if that's enough first. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, what we'll do is we'll get that mud up first, dump it somewhere around the corner, and then... We'll start tipping in the the stones. I might even take the mud up from the other one as well while we're doing that and then just put the stones down and, and both and just see if it helps out. I mean, the other one's going to be more difficult just because there's so much mud, but it's, it's quite hard, you see, on top. So I just need to break through that crust and then get the rest of it up. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful we can do this. we got the tools, haven't we? So no reason why not. I'll tell you what, that is much better. It really is. But that one, oh, I'm having a bloody nightmare with that one. We're going to have to I'll tell George, I don't know what we're going to do, but it's probably not something that I'm going to get done today on that one, fortunately. I mean, look at it. It's pretty much just stuck in the mud. Try to drop some of it down, but it's it's getting it out that's the problem. It's just too much mud. Hmm. What? To, I don't know what to do. Then I'll think about this one. I hope now. <laughs> Tim. Hey, George, you're eight. Right. Well, I'm alright, mate. Oi. Uh, sugar beet's on its way. 
Be here in a minute. Alright, and I'll come round front now. What are you getting on? Um, the first gate's done. The main one going into the bail pad. Nah, I'm telling you now, George, it's a bigger, it's a bigger job than I thought. I'm pretty much stuck, George. Oh, your body stuck, are you? <laughs> stuck in the mud? That's about right. I'll come back to it, George. I'll come sort this out now, the pigs and all that, and I'll I'll get that done. But at least I've done one of these gates. All right, then. See you in a minute. See you in a minute, mate. It's non-stop today, non-stop. This must be it. Let me know if, I, if that thing's full of sugar bees, I'm going to be here all day. I've uh, hooked up this bucket because, well, it's made for sugar bees. That's what he's got it for. And it's, you know, in all fairness, that is a, a nice bucket. Definitely. Right, let's get him to this somewhere. Hopefully, I'm just trying to think where the best place to put this is. Probably going to have to put it... Um... I mean, that's the silo we want to use this year for silage because it's got a cover on it, but maybe in here. Yeah, I'm going to ask him if he can tip it down there. It might save me a job if we can get in there. We'll see. I'll go speak to him, see what he can do. In all fairness, that was easy enough. If that's how it's going to be delivered every time, I don't know, mind that. Save me a job, and I've left a few. I told him just put it to the right a bit, and we can put the other bales in here, whatever these CCM bales are. But yeah, a load of sugar beets. There we go. Job done. All right, so, gotta wait for the next one. Then, after we've put them away, I guess the pigs will be coming. Might have time now. Go grab myself a bit of lunch. About that time, anyway. Uh, so we're not actually going to need this bucket for a little bit, so I'm just going to put it out the way. And then we can get the bale spot ready. George says he's pretty much just round the corner, so... At least I've had some lunch. Always a good thing. There we go. And then, yeah, bale spark's there. Ah, there we go. I thought I heard him. Let's get this done then. How many bales has he got us? Um, there's a few, isn't there? Right, I'll go speak to him. And unload and then we'll sort the paperwork out. Weird shape bale.
I think it'll be a bloody good idea, Beanie. I'll be honest. Some sausages. We'll have a few pigs on the farm. We'll let them obviously, you know, fatten them up. And then we'll send them off. And my idea is to sell some sausages. Don't forget the pork chops. And the pork chops, huh? Hey, up George, here we go. Bloody hell, there they are, look. Oh my bloody God, we got some pigs. I've actually done it. <laughs> yeah, bloody half George. Right, put them away. Put them away. Good idea, George. Sounds like a few pigs would be good for the farm. Well, I bloody hope so. Hey, I need to annoy that Tim guy. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to war, George. He's a wind-up merchant, that's what he's like, Beanie. Anyway, you two just going to stand there as I do this? Would we have it any other way? Hey, Beanie? Hey, come inside, I'll make you a brew. You can have one of these donuts. He'll, he'll crack on with that, he'll get it done. Bloody hell, fire. See you later. See you in a bit, Scroft. <laughs>